everyone, I'm Angela Duck with Provia. Welcome to Details Uncovered. Today we are at Provia's Cherry Ridge facility where we manufacture stone and I'm here with Scott. Hello, I'm the pouring supervisor here at Cherry Ridge. So in our last video, we were up in the mixing tower yes. here. Um, so what happens once the concrete is mixed up there? How does that turn into stone? Once the operators on the floor call for mud, once it's in place, it'll dump into the overhead hopper. Depending on the profile, certain profiles call for more mud, some call for less. So the operators have to determine how much mud is actually being let down onto each mold. Then once it doses onto each mold, we have a series of vibration tables with uh, what we call screeders, guys that are gonna move the mud around into each cavity and then clean the mold up so that we get it down to that nice range of where we want our stone. We don't want them too thick, we don't want them too thin. Once it passes past them, it gets stacked up and our forklifts take them away and they store them for uh, packing for the next day. So we offer a lot of different colors for our stone. How does that color get added? Well, we determine what profiles we're running, what colors we're running. Just a mixture of different iron oxides that will then mix into the, the concrete and give us the base color that we would like. Wow, so it sounds like it's very naturally colored. Absolutely. <laughs> you explain the process for the base color. Right. How do you get the base color onto the stone that we see? Once our forklift driver loads up the empty molds, the D stacker will kick them out one at a time. Then our color teams have color variations. And they're all in little cans. Once they've learned the profile and the right face colors that go on that profile, they'll select them and they just kind of sprinkle them throughout the cavities in certain successions. Once they've done that, then they add the water to it, kind of liquefy it for once it passes under the fill head. Then that's where the concrete cut down and it kind of seals in the color, which gives us our natural look. Thank you so much, Scott, for taking the time to explain how our stone process works. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.